Hey everybody, it's Tamika, and I know you see this huge mess on my desk. That's okay. I am going to be clearing away here shortly because I have to get this project done quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, so first let me share with you the time. It is 11.51, Thursday, July 6th, p.m., and I was in a knocked out good sleep. And um, I was resting. I got up to get a drink of water, and I laid back down, and you know... Like once I my sleep is disturbed, I start thinking, okay, tomorrow's Friday. What am I going to, what do I have to get out? Do I have my clothes? Blah, blah, blah for work. All that stuff. And then it popped in my head. Oh, that's right. We're having a work party tomorrow because it's somebody's birthday tomorrow. Oh, did I have to bring anything? No. Oh, shoot. Ding, 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 ding. I was going to make this lady a note card set at my job because what she does she's a super sweet lady um what she does is give people chocolates and they're having a good day or she brings some chocolates to work or whatever and she has this little note card she literally takes a piece of copy paper and writes on the folds it over and writes on the copy paper congrats thank you hope you have a better day and then you open up and then she's written a note in this just crusty piece of typing paper we all tease her she's like hey you get the point right you knew what i meant right so i was going to make her just a cute little set of thank you note cards now mind you i got this this darn stamp um sticker set like a week or two ago with the intentions of having it done so that i can give it to her she didn't want any gifts she just wanted everybody to, you know potluck have fun done with it but I wanted to make her just a cute little note card set that she can use for her little thank you notes and you know what I forgot so here we are Thursday night 11 52 how to get up at 6 30 in the morning and I need to get these cards done quick so I figure I record it and maybe you guys can get some of this stuff and keep these on hand so you can already be ready and show you how easy it is so what I'm going to be using are these items because I don't feel like silhouetting anything. I don't feel like die cutting anything. We're going to use punches, flowers, and stickers. Seriously. So I pulled out some flat items because I'm going to make the envelopes. I don't want to cut the envelopes, do the silhouette thing. I don't feel like doing that right now because it's late and I am still a little bit sleepy. So I got some flat flowers out and I realize I don't have that many flat flowers, but these came from Dollar Tree. They're going to have to work. And these actually came in a swap recently. They're not as flat, but I'll try not to use that one maybe or um, so I can fit in the flat envelope. So we're going to use these flowers. The point of this is to use what you have on hand and um, just make it happen. All right. The only thing that I purchased, I mean, I purchased all this at some point in my life. But the only thing I purchased for this project are these um, Molly and Rex dimensional stickers. They were $3.99 with a 40% off coupon at Michael. So this stamp set, this gift card, oh, what is this called? This Snope card set will be using these stickers. So um, it's going to be real quick. So that's what we're going to use. Let me show you the stickers again. Molly and Rex dimensional stickers. Just a bunch of thank you. And I saw it. I was like, oh, that would be perfect for Denise. Okay, so of course I'm going to use or try to use these tiny little pearls because I don't know how far that sticker and flower situation will stretch. We may need to fill it in with some pearls. We may need to fill it in with some sequins. I don't know. I'm not die cutting anything. I have some card stock, 120 pound weight card stock in white. I'm using uh, a sheet of this Anna Griffith, Anna Griffin metallic card layers and papers. And it's I've had this for a long time. It is just really pretty um pearl and gold and silver paper so i'm using a gold sheet out of there it's all cut up eight and a half by eleven and a two size and even little border strips and then i'm going to use this uptown chic paper by um craftsmiths a hot buy at michael's i'm going to use two sheets of that because i'm going to make a box to hold the gift cards this strip came out of my stash I think it came from packaging from somebody or a swap from somebody it's just a little strip and that's all we are going to need I'm sure I think I'm going to use these two flowers I'll make like a little belly band these leaves maybe and then to decorate the envelopes I was just going to throw some washi tape on so that's that We'll see how the box turns out I may use this happy birthday or birthday wishes on here well not belated tomorrow is a birthday but 
um, it's happy birthday. And um, some double sided tape, your bone folder. This is for the stamp. I'm going to use this Raven uh, ink pad by Ranger. Of course, you got our scissors. I got my um, art glitter glue I'm going to use for the sequence if I have to use it. And the dimensional stickers. And then I'm going to grab some punches. You guys see, I'm trying not to rush, I'm trying to talk slow. I got some punches for like the borders of the 3x3 note card. And then maybe this punch, if I decide to stamp this happy birthday, it fit on there close enough for it to work. So maybe that, if that doesn't work, I thought maybe I can use that um, on there. So we'll see when we get there. Also the corner chomper. And then this heart punch I can use to close like the envelope. Put a little thing on the envelope so that she can seal it. I think I think that is all. So I'm going to clear all this off so we can get to working. Alright, we are ready guys. First let me take a moment and see what stickers I'm going to use so I can know how many bases to make. So I'm going to do the thanks. One, two, three... Four, you're the best. Five, six, seven, eight. Hello. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's an odd number. We will do. I don't do the to love you to the moon and back. And I'm not gonna do love. So we'll do eight. We'll just do eight. A set of eight. Because nine is just odd. So I am just gonna cut this eight and a half and eleven down by down to make three by three cards so that's going to be three by six and what did I say eight I think I might cut this I think I could have squeezed another one out let me try it a different way um, six and then cut it this way I think I could have yeah squeezed another little three by three card out of that three three and then this one. Yep. So, this is what happens. I should have put myself a little post-it note in my on my little phone thing. And I would have been able to remember some type of reminder on the calendar. I don't know. But hopefully this won't take too long. And I stopped counting, but I'm pretty sure we're not at 8 yet. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Cut this down this side. Yeah, these will go quick. I mean, I think. I think the longest thing that's gonna take is the envelopes. Maybe. So speaking of envelopes, I don't think I mentioned that I'm gonna use the envelope punch board. To make these envelopes so I need a three by three so that means I have to cut my paper down to five and a quarter square so we're gonna do that while we're right here and we're gonna do eight of those and um, I'm not on a timer this time guys but I'm on a mental timer because I need to get back to sleep But thank you guys for watching that timed video. Speaking of a timed video, I know a couple of you did not appreciate that it was zoomed half the time. I had to do that. Otherwise, the video would have been a whole hour. And I don't know if I could talk for a whole hour. I mean, I could talk, but... And then talking slows me down when I'm crafting and I start making mistakes. So I, in order for me to get that done in that hour, it had to be silent. So, but yeah, the point of that was to um, just ch challenge myself to get that done in an hour, and it's quite possible. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why we stop right there? And one more for eight. And I think we're done. We're done cutting. 
I just lost my count. Did I put that in there? Six, seven, eight. Yes, I did. All right. So I am going to toss these little pieces and keep these. All right. We're done with the. Whoops. We're done with the trimmer. So now we can go ahead and make these envelopes while we're here. And then we can come back to those cards. So the card size three by three. So we score at two and five eighths. I really like this one. I, I mean, when I'm not going to use my silhouette, um, yeah, this is the best. I like using these. Super fast, and you can just get it done. So it's two and five eighths square. Two and five eighths all the way around this square, rather. Punch and score. Really easy. Oh, we will have to hand make the box, though. And that should not be difficult. So. All right. Does anybody else do this or is it just me? Sit and wait. I didn't wait to the last minute on purpose. I honestly just forgot. You know, I would have, I actually would have done a simple um, thing anyway. Maybe not as simple as these will be, but um, I maybe would have added splatters or like pattern paper or some lace or something to it but then I would have had to make a dimensional envelope I mean I probably would have did that if I would have remembered in enough time but she'll love these anyway and it will definitely beat her pulling out the drawer of the fax machine and just writing on some copy paper which is so hood but <laughs> she'll be happy I could take a nap during morning break so, um, the way we do it is you pull, you pull, um, it's like a group one and a group two. And when we have events like that and you pull the item, all the items go in the bucket or the basket and then you pull something to bring. So group one of course goes first and then there's group two is just a split so that one person doesn't keep bringing stuff every single time. So, works out great. So, I'm in group two, and it's group one's turn, so I don't have to bring anything. Which I'm happy about because I didn't do that either. And I would have had to get up and go to the store before work, which is something I don't want to do. Alright, so that's done. Let's give these a good fold over. This is not too bad, guys. Knocking it out here. All right, I always. All right, there we go. I always forget. Like, okay, where? What am I doing? Um, when I'm doing these envelopes, where I am with the folding part. So I'm just gonna add glue, wet glue, to that. So yeah, hopefully I can find some cool music to put under here. I have to find some royalty free music because the tune that I always have in there that, you know, tune that's always on my sped up or voiceover videos, not the ones like for the dolls or anything like that when I use uh, iMovie tunes, but the other one. That I have my husband makes produces beats and makes beats and um, for people so that person uh, he made that one for me so it was somebody that was going to get something and he had started it they changed their mind went with something completely different and so he just modified it a little bit toned it down for me <laughs> so that I could use it on the videos but I do want to find something else um, I could just have him make me some, but I don't, know. I don't know. He doesn't know my style. You know, I don't want him 
I don't want headbanger music all the time. I don't want to be banging my head all day. Like, just, just, just a part of the day. So. All right. Keep messing up here. I'm not fast forwarding this video. This is going to be in real time. Just the way some of you like it. So you can work along with me. If you got the stuff out, you can work right along with me. And there are plenty of tutorials on how to make um, envelopes if you don't have this envelope punch board. I got mine from Tuesday morning when they were on sale a while ago. But there are plenty of 3x3 three three envelope tutorials. I might even have one. Um, I know I have a dimensional 3x3 three three, um, envelope box or something like that. Alright. Last one. Okay. So, I'm just going to go back over these because I'm going to keep these. They're going to be all in the box. I might stick the card in. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick the end of the card in and have it all ready to go instead of... I don't know. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. I'm going to put this thing back on this glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight envelopes done. All right, now let's get to these folding these cards. And like I said, they are three by six. Score them in half I'm using a hundred and ten pound weight cardstock. This side. It would have been nicer if I would have just scored these down the middle, but it's okay. It's okay. I hope I've been on frame. I haven't even looked up to check. If not, all I did was make the envelopes. <laughs> and let's see. And the last one. Okay, so with this, I was going to do the little decorative edge thing. One, it takes up some space on the front of the car for decoration, so we don't have to worry about so much negative, weird blank space. So all I'm doing is cutting the front side of the envelope like that. And I'm going to do two of that in this punch. This is a pretty punch. I've had this for a long time. Martha Stewart punch. Let's see. Let's do this one. This is one of my favorites too. I use this a lot. We'll do two of those. This one. This is a it's EK Success. I don't know what brand this is. It doesn't say. But I've had this for years. Years, years, years. I'm going to do two of those. And one more. Did I bring out another one? Or was that it? I don't know how this one was gonna work. I think this punch is a, I think this punch is a strip out that I don't want. Let me see. Let 
Let's see if there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I think this punch is a strip. Uh, let's see how that looks. Yeah, this punch is out. We don't want that one. So we'll redo. Redo this one. It's right here. I'm right here. Time is of the essence. Blase Skippy. Yeah, I think I cut the sample one instead of that one. So let's do this one again. That's the one that I just cut the example on. I wonder it was super short. I'm like, where the rest of that card at? All right. Done. Let me get this mess up because these little these little things irritate me a little bit, kind of creep me out. So I'm gonna get them off. Okay. So now we're going to grab this punch here and that Anna Griffith. Griffin. I don't know why I keep saying Anna Griffith. I think I'm thinking of the Andy Griffin show. No, it's the same last name. I don't know. I honestly can't tell you why I keep saying Anna Griffith. Okay. I'm going to punch out little hearts with these. Whoa. One. Two. Oh, I may not even need all of these. Three. I just need one. Four. Six, seven, and eight. I only needed one. All right, so I'm going to go back to this little glue, and then I'm going to add, so I'm going to add it right here, like right there, just the top. So, how cute is that? And then I'm going to add a little um, piece of tape on the bottom of this envelope. So that when she's ready to send it, she can just seal it. That is super cute. So, if nothing else, the envelopes would be purdy. All right. Ooh, excuse me. I hope I'm not making you guys yawn. I would I would have uh, put me on some coffee, but <laughs> I won't get to sleep until it's time for me to wake up. And that's not good because... <laughs> no, no, no. So I'm just going to have to deal. <laughs> Dag nabbit. Alright, let's put some more on here. that. Now I said I was going to do some washi. Where's the other one? I know I had three up here. Well, if it doesn't pop out here, oh, that means we don't need it. 
Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of this washi. I got from uh, oh Joanne's a while ago. I'm just going to put a little bit going across. Just really simple. I'll come back and clean that up. Right now we're on a mission to complete. We'll clean it up when we pack it up. No, we'll clean it up before then, but just get her down. It would be kind of cute if I did some funky designs, wouldn't it? Well, that would have happened had it been 5 o'clock, 5.30, and I was heading home, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm getting prepared mentally, not when it's 11.50. Well, it's not 11.50 now, but what time is it? It's 12.18, so it hasn't been too long. Shoot, I just went on one, two, three, four. I did too many. Oh, well, I might as well just go ahead and do the rest of them. I'm, my intentions was to do one with one and one with the other, but I'm just going past that I'm not even paying attention. So I don't like setting up odd numbers and things. So I I'll just finish the rest of that off with the same washi. Now we can go back and clean it up. This way she'll have a cute little presentation. With these stinking cute envelopes. Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> Friday. The week is over. I'm so excited. Next week I have, I start my little staycation and my plan is to rearrange stuff so I can get my craft room back together because because every, you guys know that last year my husband cleaned out the garage for me. I think I posted it on Facebook. Uh, I came home from work and everything was stacked up against the wall that was so supposed to be in there. And I was doing my little periscope in there and it was just heaven. Well, winter hit and it was freezing. As you know, I live in Minnesota and it is completely unbearable in a non-heated garage to be outside crafting. So, what was I doing? I'm down here in our bedroom crafting. I'm bringing like stuff from the garage really quick like super fast look for something and come right back in in the house because it's so darn cold so what happens with that a big garage mess like I just literally put the stuff on my tables the craft tables that were set in there where I was doing the little periscope classes or whatever I just put it right on that table and leave because it's that cold like you see your breath instantly all of that so it's just a big mess so um it's warm here now and i have some days that i've taken off so that i can clean out everything so i will be de-stashing a lot because my crafting has changed and i just don't need a lot of the things that i have so i'll be de-stashing or having grab bags or something because you guys know i just um I take my stuff out and I use it right away. There's hardly anything that is not open that I own. If something is taken out of it. So it makes it hard for, I don't know how people de-stash like full flower packs and all that kind of stuff. If I, I only get it if I'm going to use it. So it makes it hard to sell, like make it all cute unless I'm packaging it up in like as a set. But yeah, it's a little difficult to do that. So I am going to try to make like grab bags of de-stash. Oh, there's the other washi tape. Oh, too bad. Um, 
I'm going to try to make like a little de-stash something or other um, to get that done. So, what am I doing with this? Oh, that's for the box. I don't need that yet. Right now, we're just doing the cards. All right. Let's see here. Envelopes are done. And then I just need the stamps. I mean, the stickers. And this glue. Cute. So, we're going to do this thanks. And I'm going to add a little glue to the back. Even though it's adhesive, I always like to add just a little bit of, of glue. I'm going to put that thanks there. And it's manufacturally crooked, which bothers me. So I'm going to fix it so that it's straight. All right. And I'm going to put the, uh, maybe I'll do a yellow and a white or a color and a white flower on here or maybe just one I don't know let's see no we can't have one so we're gonna have two we're gonna put it right there and the other one down here and I'm gonna put this underneath this thanks and I just messed up my little glue thing, so let's just add hot glue to that. Over the white, over the yellow, under the white flower. Perfect. Let's get some, uh, let's get a pearl on here. Just a little bit. I wish I felt like doing my paint splatters. I think these just need a little bit of extra but it's simple she'll like it <laughs> card one done and we shall continue on and that's what we shall do all right you are the best so that's going to be i want to make them all on the same side yeah i guess so and again let's see i think i had a pink each one here, we'll use that one. Let's see how that looks. Looks great to me. Right there. And right there. And a pearl. See how fast this is going to go? And then a tiny pearl. And we're going to put that one down, right down there, down there. Oh my God, you're the best. Cute. I think I may put some black splatters on that because I just can't, I can't, the way that my mind is set up. All right, um, thanks. Thanks, it's going to go there. We're going to use this flower. And then we'll use the blue one. We'll use this pretty dark blue one. This reminds me of that one yellow and blue paper collection that I really liked. Let's see. And we'll add the pearl. And the little one. Oh my gosh, I wish I had a doggone... What's the thing you ready to be using? The little sticker upper thing. Maybe I'll spray those with some shimmer. See, I can't, no, I can't. I just can't just leave things be. I'm now I'm like trying to spray shimmer. I'm trying to add splatters. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's see. Let's use that one. Use this white one. Hmm. 
That is so plain. Oh my gosh. I can't do it. Okay. I have to make sure that I stay inside this, um, the perimeter so it can fit into the envelope. I'm going to put this thank you on top of that flower. That looks odd up there. I'll just move that down. Move it down a bit. Okay. All right. Pearl and pearl. They're cute. They are cute. I'll give it that. Do hello, hello, put that in the middle. I'll give it this peach look. These stickers are so darn cute though and I know she'll like them she will like them and she will appreciate them I have a random peach um, pearl on this paper it'll work okay just a few more we'll do this What's this We'll do this, thanks. And we'll do that with some blue. And these flowers are from recollection. Those blue ones. You guys see I got a new glue gun, right? So all of y'all that was talking about my baby that died, my baby died. I posted her on Facebook. She was with me for a long time. She's been through a lot of projects with me. So needless to say, she is gone. She was sad. She was, she hung in there a lot thick and thin so now I have this one the Elmer's craft bond dual tip takes the larger glue dots um, and not large glue dots large glue sticks and she's doing me right she's okay I had to put three on here because that was just way too plain and I'll put a little dot on here oh I lost it these little things are tricky let's see maybe I'll come back maybe I was going to think maybe I'll add some sequins on there but we'll see I knew I should have got more of these flat flowers. I was thinking, eh, I'll just get one blue, one white. I really, I really don't use flat flowers all like that, you know. Yada yada yada. Look at me now. <laughs> Look at me now. Oh, looking at me now. Looking at doing these darn no cards. Needing a bunch of flat flowers to avoid having to make a dimensional envelope. Although I could have just skipped out on the envelope entirely because she don't even put envelopes on Like I said, she used copy paper. So, and then we'll go with uh, this, thanks. That's left. Do I have any more peach? No, we won't do that one. We'll do this one. And let's 
do this blue. This white one. Let's see. It's so pretty. These flowers with the little shimmer on them are super cute. Okay. I'm tuck that under there. Okay. Let's add this pearl. It's giving me a hard time here. And then a little one. Even though there's pearls on this spot, I really don't even need those, but whatever. Okay, that's what we have left. Just those three. Which will go back in the package. So this is how like my D-stashes look, like morsels, morsels of stuff left. So, let's see. These are the cards we just did. Envelopes right there. Aren't they cute? They are so adorable. So, I'm going to see if I can pop some sequins on here. Just a little bit. And I know y'all saying, oh, she just can't help herself. No, I can't. Let's see, I have some, I have some yellow ones and some pink ones. Oh, and some blue ones. This is going to be trouble because my big old fingers, I don't know. Let me just see how this is going to look. Let's see if I put one there. How can I do that? I'm going to have to open up some of these and have it ready. And just have like a little pile. A little sequence pile. Okay. I'm going to put one on this one. This, this big one. You guys can't see it yet, but you'll see it in a second. Boom. That's cute. Um, let's see. So one on this yellow one. There. Another one there. I'm literally just popping the glue and then um, adding the, using the same tip to pick it up. So I'm making two little dots. Pick this blue one up and this yellow one. Put another one right there. Okay. Let's see how that looks, guys. Because I don't know. I might don't like that one. That's a pretty one. This one I don't know as much. I think I'm going to move that yellow one to the edge here. That's better. Oh, oh goodness grief. All right. Just add one. Sorry, my fingers now have glue on them, so they keep popping off the sequence. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. I'm going to put these sequins back in this little container, because if not... With me being Madam Spill a lot, 
they will be on the floor in no time. Okay. Put those back in there. Alright. I think we are done with all of this. So, let's get to making the, um, the box. I could have alleviated the sequence situation, but yeah, I think I'm going to put these in here like so. Fold it back. That's cute. And then I really wanted her to see the little heart, but when she closes the envelope, she'll see it. Maybe I'll do the first one like that. sequence just came off. Okay. Boom. Get back up there. Alright. That one's so cute. I really like that one. I'm doing this because I need to measure the box. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I can just do a three by three, but I gotta do it anyway. So Let's hold tight. Last one. Okay. The stand it's up. Now we gotta make the box. Okay. Ah, no, no, no. I want them to sit in there comfortably. So we need the box to be about three and a half. Okay, great. So we'll make it three and a half by three and a half. We'll do that. So let's see. I forgot. It's been a while since I've made a box without my cameo. Let's see. It needs to be. Um, I need a sheet of paper. Wait, I could just use one of these scrap sheets. All right, so we need the the box to be at least three and a half tall, and at least three and a half three and a half um, length and width. So we need an inch on all these sides. So that's three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and then three and a half, four and a half by five and a half. So we need to be five and a half by five and a half at least. And then, um, no, 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 that's not right because we need these to be three and a half. Three and a half, three and a half. And then, um, Three and a half. Yeah, it needs to be all the way around. Three and a half all the way around. So I gotta do that over because it's just too much. Three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. So that's three, six, nine, ten, half. Ten and a half by ten and a half. Three and a half, ten, nine, three, six, nine, ten. Yeah. Ten and a half by ten and a half. Okay. Yeah, I'm not the best at math, but eventually I will figure it out. So we need this paper cut at. Dang it! That's not gonna work. It's eight and a half by eleven. Oh boy, how am I gonna do that? Um. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna use. Um. That paper from Michaels. Ha <laughs> ha. 
my inner Tamika was thinking. Ten and a half by ten and a half. Right. And then the top, that's going to be a doozy because it can't be exactly. I'm just going to make it an eighth of an inch bigger. So, ten and a half. So, ten and one, two, three, four, ten and five eighths square. And let's see if that works. Let's hope that works. Wait, I need this. So, move this out the way. Where did my bone folder go? Okay. So we need to score this at three and a half everywhere. Right? We hope. this is right because I really like this paper and I don't have any more sheets what is this box in the middle okay and then this one we're gonna score I mean are we still scoring at three and a half I don't know are we scoring one more? All we can do is give it a try. If not, we'll just pick out another piece. Scoring it at three and a half all the way around. Hopefully that's a little bit bigger since we cut it a little bit bigger. All else fails, we will squeeze the heck out of that top and put it on. <laughs> Let's see. Start at the bottom of the bottom of the box here. I guess I am. Uh, well, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Um, what was I gonna say? This video is gonna be long. I said I wasn't gonna fast forward it. Me one long video. So I hope you people are ready. We're almost done though. Because we're at the box. I must not have scored that first one deep enough. Because I didn't want to score right oh I did that wrong this should have been one inch that's okay because I can cut that down yeah these should have been one inch mm-hmm because this is the top so instead of that being three and a half right no three and a piece that should be one and a piece all the way around So I'm cutting it at one and an, and an eighth. All the way around. Uh, let's see. I don't know if that works. Okay. Because this needs to be deep. This did not. Okay, let me give you the ending of this lid. This is um, six and an eighth. I don't know why it's shorter. By five and seven eighths. I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but 
we're gonna I blame it on the time so we're going to just cut this cut the little slices in it like we always do so that they fold easier hang in there guys my throat is getting super dry And I like to just cut off these corners at an angle so they don't show. All right. And then we're just going to add some, I'm going to add hot glue to that corner piece and tuck that in. this one this is the home stretch okay cute all right, let's do the same thing here. I don't feel like messing with the little scissors. Here we go. Same thing. And this one here. Fold that over such okay so you're going to need a lot more of this glue but I'm going to use um, this wet glue to get this on here because I don't want this to be bulky so I'm going to take that piece and connect it onto the back of that one give it a good press And then this down flap. Same thing. Okay. And repeat that step. Oh, this box will look so cute with some black splatters. But we may or may not have time for that today, and I'm guessing it's the latter. Maybe I will have some energy in the morning and splatter the way, but I doubt it. This is a little uneven. my get that little safety pin go okay. that's that let's see if this fits oh perfect <laughs> I can still think after midnight all right so um what I'm gonna put in here tissue paper Maybe. We'll see. Maybe it's not necessity. Maybe I'll put it on the top. Let's see. Okay. 
we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to put my one up in the front here. put it on top later. Perfect. <laughs> yes! Let's do that. How cute is that? Thank you to whoever gave me this. It is adorable. I'm going to put that like right smack in the middle. So let me check. Let me check this uh, stamp situation real quick. I'm going to go here. Oh, this is so stinking cute. Little flowers. Off the side. Adorable. Where does this go? Right there. Perfect. Alright, I'm actually going to grab um, this paper by Anna Griffin and put it under here. This is about um, four to five and a half, inch and a half. So I'm going to cut this at two inches lengthwise. So I kind of want to put this over, over that. Super cute. I'm going to cut another one just in case. to go actually I didn't even need to cut that other one I'm just going to fit it along here I'm just going to fit it along the um, top and I'm not going to have it wrap is what I'm saying I'm just going to put that on there just like so and I use the hot glue cut off the extra Just giving this box some stability. So it is cardstock. And then a little bit on this end. Cut off the extra. And then I'll use this piece to do the same thing. Like that. I didn't even measure to make sure that lined up, but it does. Woo! Woo! By the hair of my chinny chin tin. And then what are you stinking? No, it fits all the way around. Thank the Lord. Not lucky on that. Alright. That's going to go like so. And. Dang it, I ran out of glue. Um. My 
glue guns like in my cute lace. Yeah. Alright. Put that on the side. So cute. A smidge left. That's stinking adorable. That's going to go there. And now, now we're going to add this, which will uh, be Velcroed. It's going to be used to hold down this box, like hold it shut. So I'm using these fastener dots from the Dollar Tree. I use them a lot, and I like them. I'm going to add some hot glue to the back of this. Glue it on this. And then bring this over. Match that up. Oh, come on. Add some glue to the top. So, keeps everything neat and tidy. Alright. A few little finishing touches. This flower. I'll tie that together. It's going to go there. Make sure that I am staying on this top side of this velcro. I mean, the top side of this, um, you know, this little material here. Alright, I'm going to put some glue at the bottom of this flower. Staying on top of that. I might not even need this flower, but it's so cute. And I love it. Let me see if I can find a smaller one. Or, you know what, maybe I'll just take... I know you guys hate when I do that. Take a piece of that flower off. And tuck it. That's what I'll do. Some glue on the back of there. Making sure I'm staying on this top layer. I did. This extra crap. And then let's get that stamp on there. Easy enough. Let's see, how do I want that? Oh, don't do that. Let's not stick to that. Like that. So, I'm going to find some oh, perfect, some dimensional here. Pop it up here. These have got to be the tiniest little dimensional dots in the world. Oh, geez. 
these little pop that adhesive. They're a uh, quarter inch. They were handy, so that's what we use. And I'm just going to stick it underneath on the other layer so that when she moves it, it just goes with that layer. But I wanted it to be on dimensional dimension. And we're done we are done I am happy how long is this video oh my gosh it's an hour and 11 minutes it's 103 not bad an hour and 10 11 minutes actually <laughs> so this is the box super cute I love it adorable all right guys Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this video now. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of this and if you will try this at home. All right. Bye.